Welcome, friends, to the Beaver Dam. It's kind of eerie right now because we don't have any music going. Hold on one sec. There we go. Nice and good. Okay. Okay, Bowie song release date confirmed. Um, no, but Dank, we uh, we may have a uh, a Bodhi emoji coming. We'll say that the song's still in the works. We we get, we have a little bit of time. I my other artist is finally settled and ready to go, and so he's just working on some stuff. Um, so he's finishing up one song and then he's gonna transfer over to that one. So. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, throw this out and make sure everyone knows that we are doing roster reviews today. Uh, there's our roster review area. Hey Nova, hey Nex, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Andy Nachos, I'm so damn excited for the stream. Uh, yeah, Johnny, of course. Uh, didn't we already do one for you, Johnny? I could have sworn we did one last time. Hey AstroDB, welcome, welcome. Hey Jan, welcome. This is our first, uh, first Conquet Mara. What the freak? Hi. You're being awfully needy. Okay. Hi, Mara. Do you need to go out? Is that what you need to do? Or are you just being needy, huh? Just being needy? Hey, new boy. Why? New boy. Lay down. Okay. You hate conquest? <laughs> Yes, I have. It's Nova. There's been someone who's uh who's been posted in the member chat talking about it a lot. Yeah, I have seen that. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know uh, what he's talking about, let's see if I can pull it up. Yeah, right here. This is uh, apparently a team that's going around squad arena right now is this team right here so you use reva lead with ray it's really wild <laughs> uh, okay okay yeah i will i will get the sign out andy nachos <laughs> uh, for all of those who don't know anytime someone donates 99 cents we give mara a treat because she deserves the treats because she's a good girl uh, apparently, Jan, the uh, it's a great Reva team. It's taking down all kinds of GLs and stuff. But I don't know. Like, it, it's it's not something I could possibly use in like GAC. Maybe the upper echelons could uh, justify like doing that. But like, it seems kind of iffy. And also, it's it's rough with the uh, with the banners. It looks like. Uh, so, like, for a squad arena team, if there were still, uh, crystals in squad arena, I could believe seeing it as, like, a, a meta team, if there are still crystals in squad arena. Congratulations, Jan, that's huge! Congratulations, that's awesome, dude. I'm so happy for you. The SLKR's ult changes the game. <clears throat> Isaac, welcome, welcome. Okay, we're gonna jump into some, uh, rust, or, uh, some conquest here. We got our free-to-play conquest. And honestly, our free-to-play conquest is really easy. Like, I, uh, you don't understand his ult. Uh, every time you get critical hits, uh, you get, I believe it's 6% ultimate charge. Whenever you uh, do normal hits, you get 3% ultimate charge. Once you have the first bar of ultimate, you go into invincibility for one turn and double your siphon for that turn. Uh, if you get the second or the third, second will be two turns in ultimate with doubling your siphon during that time, and your cooldowns are, uh, you know, always reset, you're invincible, 
It's just, you know, you basically can't get hurt at all. You're immune to debuffs. Two turns for the second bar, three turns for the third bar. So it's basically to allow you to ramp up even faster because you're doubling your siphon for those uh, for those couple of turns, as well as keep your guy alive. And so you can use it as a panic button. And so, like, when you're going up against Ray, when she hits ultimate, you have to hit ultimate. So that way her ultimate doesn't accidentally kill off SLKR. And so that's kind of the thing. So, hey, Christian, welcome, welcome. Johnny said, I love your SLKR guide a few months back. I unlocked him very recently watching it. it. gave me so much info I wouldn't have known if I didn't watch the vid. I'm glad it helped, Johnny. I love SLKR so much. I don't even... I don't care. Like, none of these guys have Zetas or anything. Like, my... My free-to-play conquest is literally the easiest thing in the world. Like, I've, I've thrown in Savage solo almost every single time. And just no problems whatsoever. My Imperial Troopers are, like were like a 10% stamina yesterday. Like, uh. <laughs> if this gets annoying where I'm doing two at a time, let me know. I, I can always uh, just throw this one on auto in the background and I can do this one for everyone. Still stands for the free-to-play account. Oh, to get into a good guild. I'm actually very happy with my guild right now. Oh, what's the feats right now? Um, well, after the, the guild swap, we got into a just a guild that's like all active. And so we get some solid rewards. I'm actually impressed. Uh, okay, armor shred, secret intel. I really don't want to work on secret intel, honestly. That sounds like a later on kind of thing. Let's just throw some good characters against it just to ensure a win. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is genuinely just a straight up win. I don't think there's a way these guys can actually win. Got yeah, secret battle or secret intel in two battles. Yeah, and honestly, that's what I'm gonna go for later on is doing that. But I wanna. So when I have all those ones that are like gain this a certain amount of time, use this a certain amount of times, all that type of stuff, I like to do it all in one uh, set of battles where I can just throw my deployable cooling systems on and then just do it. And then I back, you know, let it time out at the end of the battle. Uh, and then do it with the next team and kind of go through all those feats through all of Conquest at the very end, so. I'm just gonna throw this one on auto too. <clears throat> and you lose, it's better, yeah. Uh, any great GL uh, teams for Conquest? Does Bane count? Does Bane? No, I'll go through my Conquest teams and show you the best teams that I have for Conquest. There's quite a few of them that are fairly free to play. I mean, they're all... I mean, everything in this game is technically free to play. It's just, uh, you know, how free to play is it? Uh, initial tether. Do we have initial frenzy anywhere? Ah, it's crystals. Um... Imp Troopers isn't bad, but it's when you start getting to hard mode, it's actually pretty garbage. Uh, you just cannot keep up with their speed. Oh, uh, what's this one? Win without using a Galactic Legend? Easy. This is actually going to be able to be perfect. Okay. So, here's my Conquest tab. This isn't, of course, full because I've started hitting a point where I have too many teams for Conquest. And so there's not really a point for me making a Conquest tab. Um, but yeah, so General Grievous is a great one, especially this version with new Gunray. Super, super good. Deals tons of damage. Uh, Gas is not a bad one. Um, Darth Revan, also not bad. I do suggest uh, four people instead of putting in Sith Empire Trooper. I just find throwing in Sith Empire Trooper, you're going to end up with a lot of... Uh, problems like where you don't get as many uh stars so i would swap them out for another sith empire or just do a four man honestly 
Um, oh, I didn't know that was a thing that I needed to do. Uh, Jedi Knight Revan's also another really good one. I obviously use a different version of this since I've started getting better Jedi, like Jedi Knight Luke. Um, CLS is like the top tier team for Conquest. He can basically auto every single battle in Conquest, especially if you drop a couple of the data discs on this team. Star Killer's another not bad one. Uh, I've enjoyed using Star Killer. Zori is one that a lot of people have access to because of light speed bundles, and I use Zori even in hard mode with this team, and I just absolutely slap people around. So. <clears throat> uh, another one, uh, let's go through kind of my teams. Another one that works really well is going to be Krex with Phoenix. Um, scoundrels don't work too bad, especially if you have dash lead and you're using, um, what is it called? Uh, do I have one? Zealous Ambition. If you have a whole bunch of Zealous Ambition, this basically means that as soon as Dash Rendar takes a turn, he kills the entire team. So, is CLS a global feat? Good to know, then I'll have to start using him. Uh, Padme isn't bad, but I struggle with her personally. It might be because I have a gear 12 Padme, but still, like, the rest of the team should make up for that, and it doesn't really. Uh, in normal and easy, it'll be fine. It's just in hard, it struggles. Um, bounty Hunters are not very good, but you they're usable in easy and normal. Uh, let's see. Maul, of course, is great. Imperial Troopers, easy, normal, good. Uh, these guys I have no experience with, so I couldn't tell you. Very so-so for, uh, these guys. Uh, I've heard these guys aren't bad, but I don't have much experience with it. Geos will carry you in easy and throughout most of normal. Uh, Geonosians can do some serious work in those. Uh, once it gets to hard, they kind of get stomped on. But on easy and normal, fairly dang good, especially if you have some good, uh, good data discs. Um, but yeah. One of my friends was playing Brawl Stars and he got destroyed by Edgar. <laughs> he punched his computers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, should I instantly stop, swap from normal to hard? Only if you have the teams to be able to get through the first uh, crate of hard. Um, so you would need at least like two or three of these teams that I'm showing you right here. If you have like two Galactic Legends like Rey and Kylo, I think you can go for hard. Alternatively, if you're going hard for Datacrons this season because you want like a good Raycron, I'd go normal because you're going to get better rewards for that. <clears throat> Trouble one, but yes. Okay. Do you have info on the compensation for territory battles blackout this week? Do I have information? Not beyond the uh, the information they gave us, which is the rewards from last time is what we're getting this time. I really hope that includes the shards for uh, for the characters, so that way people aren't pushed back. Like I'm not pushed back on Reva. I'm not pushed, or other people aren't pushed back on Wat Tambor. That would be very unfortunate. Uh, if I were to suggest an option for that, I definitely think they should. Uh, do something like uh, at least give an average shard amount, even if they can't access and they can't figure out how to give the exact same amount of shards as last month. Um, because I get, you know, programming is rough and they may not have access to that information. But if even if they just gave us the average amount of shards, so if there's just like 25 Watt Tambor shards, 25 Reba shards, I'd be happy with that. Like some of the top guilds of whatever they're doing might be upset a little bit, but at least you're getting some compensation. So, um, so what happened is territory battles was really funky. No one could get in. They tried resetting it to fix it and it automatically shifted everyone to light side geo. Uh, and then everyone was upset and they're like, okay guys here, we'll pull up the, we'll pull up the news right now. And so once it shifted like that, uh, this is what happened. Um, we apologize for the issues that you encountered with territory battles this week. As a result, we will be canceling the territory battles for this week. At a later time, we'll be rewarding you with your previously completed territory battle results. And so this is what we're looking at right now is just getting our rewards from last time. So it was super glitchy for a while and then they kind of just fixed it. Yeah, that's why you're doing light side geo. 
they can't give 25 free but that's the thing is like yeah i'd be giving 25 free to some of the lower people but it would also be giving 25 to like the higher people as well that are going like 46 shards at a time and so i don't know i feel like it would balance out mm. it would it would also help you know help make it more palatable that this happened in, in general so i don't know yeah we'll, we'll show you how insane cls is i don't even remember what team we're facing but i'm guessing this is gonna work uh they're gonna be disabling it in the next couple of days or they'll disable the rewards so don't worry about going like any farther because they say they're gonna disable it Hey, this is an old school counter to CLS, actually. Yeah, let's just go for the kill. Goodness gracious, dude. Yeah, you can see why this is an old school counter that still works to this day. <clears throat> I didn't mean to click that. I was looking at chat. Oops. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a loss. Uh, what was... It? Okay, you're rabbit. A guy in my guild completed the win 10k battles in Arena. He got 50 shards and two Darth Vader shards. Oh, congratulations to him. Yeah, proceeds to get it demolished. Yeah, unfortunately, Night Sisters are always a counter. <clears throat> They're especially with Marin, they have a hundred percent win rate with Marin. Um, they they kind of fell off for a while, but they are back in business, baby. Yeah. Uh, so we have to let's see. This is no GLs, so let's find a non-GL team. I don't have good data discs for most of these teams. Is the problem. So if we just gotta do no GL. Night Sisters, Hard Counter, Zori. Let's try uh, these guys. I don't have any really good uh, data discs for them. That's the problem is with this season is there's no really, really good data discs. Uh, that's the problem. There aren't great ones. The Dots and Deaths is my favorite by far, and they're all gone right now. And so, oh no, it's it might not be clean, but that's fine. There we go. We got ourselves started. Okay, let's hit her. Hit everyone and do a little bit of healing. Uh, get a stun on you. Big hit on everyone. Heal a bit more. Kill off you. Um, heal you up. Uh, push some turn meter. How did she revive? That was our second, uh, or that was our third kill. I'm confused. Anyone know how that just worked? Because she just revived for the third time. Because we killed Daka twice. Or we killed Talzin and then we killed Daka, which is two times. So why did they get a third revive? Caleb, absolutely. Throw it in the Discord. 
my opponent is CG. <laughs> Imp Trooper it? We can try. I don't know if we'll be fast enough is the problem. That's the problem with hard mode is just you're, you're never fast enough for anything. We are still in the first area, so we, we'll probably be fast enough. I mean, hopefully 350 speed is fast enough. Star Killer can probably do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll try Star Killer next. Uh, let's get our uh, free to place to keep going. Yeah, see here. You're never fast enough in uh, in hard mode. Yeah. So, Imperial Troopers really aren't good in hard mode. It's kind of sad. Use Watt to go first. I mean, even then, the these guys have something going on where they just immediately get... Yeah, right here. Whenever an ally arrives with the ally leader active defeat, enemies lose 15% max health. And the ally leader gains 100% turn meter. So, even so, we're going to get stomped by, uh, by her because she keeps getting a bonus turn, basically. So... <sighs> oh gosh uh let's see can we get anything good here uh cost of commissions not very helpful right now entrenched eh. oh dude that is sick the first time an ally would be reduced to uh one percent health they recover a hundred percent health and protection that is dank dude heck yes did somebody say trench yeah let me pull out my trench that i have uh what can we pull out for that because that is so cool let's uh let's pull out zealous ambition because we're not really oh we don't have enough hold on we'll pull out zealous ambition Uh, yeah, I'm down to try Maul. Problem with Maul is we're going to run into the same thing where they're going to keep taking turns. Ooh, hold up. We don't need to use a GL. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> what are you going to do with your plague? Uh, honestly, I, if I were playing this just for, like, trying to be the most efficient, I'd probably do Darth Revan just because Malak shuts these guys down pretty well. And you can permanently make sure Talzin never revives. Pain is a GL. Not technically. Dude, are you using the um, the thingamajig? Because you need to be using the thingamajig, dude. The thingamajig is the only thing that allows you to have less RNG. You know what I mean? I'm going to be pissed if I get stuck here. Literally, all I need is a hit. Okay, screw it. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, uh, yeah, so if you can up your... Oh, that was...
Is it just not showing the foresights? Because he didn't have foresight either of those times. Oh my gosh, this is the stoop. I hate how much speed they have. Oh my gosh, and they're ramping damage every time as well. This is so dumb. <laughs> Can MP stomp Je Jedi Knight Revan? And Conquest is always up in the air, but technically, yes, he, he they can beat Jedi Knight Revan. But it does require you being faster, so make sure you're taking into account the bonus speed that uh, he gets. Thank you. Holy crap. Yeah, Bane's Dispel does need to be fixed, because the way it's worded, it's supposed to hit through Foresight. Uh, I did, Caleb. We we will be doing ally codes after uh, we finish with our conquest for the day. Um, summon separatist allies have a twenty five percent merit. Summoned separatist allies. Who summons a separatist ally? I can't think of a single person who summons a separatist ally. I guess, yeah, GBA. But that's such a weird thing to take into hard mode conquest. Like, uh, no. I guess if you have Relic Geos, it makes sense, but uh, who has Relic Geos? Problem with Geos is they don't have any, like, uh, turn meter that they really gain themselves. And so they end up just kind of sitting still while getting absolutely demolished. Oh, I love this one so much. I did not... Seventy percent of your has relic three. I mean that, Andy Matz. Welcome to the damn community, my friend. Uh, that makes sense uh, in higher level uh, guilds for the simple reason of you end up with you need the pilots up, and especially in older accounts because in older accounts it was oh wow did I just hit enter with just a random team? That is my bad for not paying attention at all. Um, <clears throat> I mean. I doubt this will win, but we're going to try anyways. Uh, sure, let's get some uh, days out there if we can. This is obviously, like, the best team ever created, guys. Uh, but yeah, it's super uh, common among people that, like, when Malevolence was the meta. And so, it, it's a lot less common nowadays because Malevolence is usually, like, the last ship people get. Which is surprising because, honestly, it's one of the most free-to-play friendly of all the, the ships that you can get. All right, let's just go for Vesis real quick, just to make sure she dies. <clears throat> oh yeah, I think everyone has a Geo Wall and Territory War at this point, but you know, most people don't take them up to uh, Relic levels. The sounds that Vader makes is so weird. Oh, 
A back wall? Oh gosh. Yeah, so this is how his uh, ultimate works. We can just sit here for fun. They can't do anything. <laughs> I accidentally hit enter battle without paying attention. I'm sorry, okay? And we're right back into ultimate, so it doesn't really matter that they hit us at all. Fine, I'll throw on some music. Gosh, how dare you just call me out like that. I got you. You guys got any requests? I'm going to put on more just for this guy right here. We'll, we'll turn it down a bit because we're not trying to be hype or anything. Okay, keep going on this. Okay, there's one person down. And just two left, guys. And let's jump right back into ultimate. <clears throat> SLKR solos. Okay, we got Thrawn, we got Farm Scrap Upgrade, we got Cavalry, two of them, and then Thrawn again. Okay, I will, uh, I'll start putting together a list for you guys. Oh my gosh. Can I even do that with my current stuff? My current setup? Hold on. I, I, I think I might have you. This right here. Um, let's find a song for this. Do I got where is it? It's somewhere in here. Hold on. Oh, come on, it has to be in here. There it is. Okay. Okay, for this one, I, I don't even know what the feats are. I should probably check what the feats are. I uh, will just do CLS. F it. So, we're going to get Luke, Luke, Luke in here. This is going to be awful, people. This is going to be so bad. I don't know why we're doing this. But, let's get CLS in here, and then we're going to do Savage here. What do you guys think? I can hear is the like Savage song and just Luke, Luke, Luke. <laughs> Isn't this great, guys? This is great. <laughs> Oh yeah, double team and conquest, of course. <laughs> Both of them hit their like little bridge at the same time. I love that. 
<laughs> I don't even know what team I'm going up against. This could be a Darth Revan and I could be screwed. That was awful, guys. That was so bad. <laughs> We're gonna wait for Savage's song to go away before we go back to our regularly scheduled programming. But, holy crap, dude. <laughs> that was an awful idea, thanks. <laughs> oh, whoa. We need three songs. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not singing on stream. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was... Ugh. Someone said Thrawn. Let's do Thrawn. <laughs> Anger is your... L -l -l Luke! Oh gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Oh no, his stamina is exhausted. Um, we haven't used our <laughs> our rebel team at all on our free to play account. Where's our uh, Phoenix team? How's the bow farm going? I'm just waiting, dude. That's all it is. Like uh, literally, the bow like all the shards have been done for almost a month now. Uh, but like, I can't go for it because we're going for gungans. And so they're all just sitting there, you know. The last two requirements are just gear nine sitting there. Oh, I put on leader's resolve. That explains why my uh, team isn't working right. I'm like sitting here. I'm like, why is my CLS team working not working right? I put on leader's resolve, which makes uh, him the most powerful character on the team. Uh, my bad. Oh, Bo would be fantastic for my account. I don't disagree. Having another GL killer is going to be insanely helpful for my account. But, like, we're going for that Relic 9 Jar Jar, dude. You can see the Jar 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 Jar. We got our Jar 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 right here. And Jar Jar Clinks. We're going for Jar uh, Jar Jar. We are all in. Um Boys in your Let's go with another protection shield. I like protection shields. There is no escape. Oh, that was good, Grievous. I, I like you. You you are an awesome addition to the Beaver Dam. Your jokes are on point. They are exactly my type of humor. I can't go for Jar Jar too many core teams I need to farm. Fair enough, dude. And I don't suggest farming the Gungans for most people. And if if they're farming the Gungans, I highly suggest waiting till they're all farmable on nodes and then go for them because you're going to have time leading up the raid to slow farm them. But I did say if you guys get at least $200 into the Jar Jar, I would put in money myself and try my best to do everything that I can to get Jar Jar, and I have done that. It has put me in a poor financial spot in a couple places, and I've eaten just ramen for a, week, a couple weeks, but hey, I am fine with doing that because you guys are putting towards it, and I am down for it. So, yes, the Jar Jar Jar. <clears throat> <laughs> Relic 9 Jar Jar will one hit any GL. 
full body costume offer still there. Yes, Andy, but also there's going to be an easier way to get me into a Jar Jar costume, and I will talk about it on the stream. Um, it's our, technically it's our big announcement, so. The beaver's food supply. <laughs> oh, I love that. I might have to change that. Uh, okay. What data disc do we want for the main account? Zealous Ambition. You can never have too many Zealous Ambitions. So, okay. Really quick, whoever was asking about, uh, what's the best, um... Uh, what's the best, like, non-GL teams? Uh, if you bought the Starkiller Lightspeed Bundle, or if you have Starkiller, this is the funniest thing to me. We'll see if he can survive long enough, honestly, but... We'll go Scoundrels, 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 Scoundrels. Uh, and we want... I'm trying to remember who it was. It was you, because we don't want attackers in the team. So you... Uh, and then who was the last one? I think we were using Cad Bane because... Was it Cad Bane? No, Cad Bane's an attacker, right? No, he's support. That's right. Okay. So, this is with a couple Zealous Ambitions, and this is with uh, the leadership thing. We just go in, and we're gonna have some fun, you know? Single regular <laughs> ramen noodle on stream. Okay, you guys ready? <laughs> I love Dash Rendar with Zealous Ambition so much. Yeah, so, um... Dash Rendar sucks in, uh... Inside this, you know? There's, there's no point to ever use them. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, last battle on the free-to-play account, because I'm not spending any more crystals. Oh, I'm sweating bullets here. It's so close, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. Interceptor, not besides what they've told us. So you're going to get the rewards. We'll bring it up again just real quick for you. Um, this right here. Just this right here. So, you know, as a result, we'll be canceling Territory Battle for this week, so I wouldn't bother with the Territory Battle this week. Uh, it's all, Everyone's on Light Side Geo. Everyone's pissed about it. Uh, don't worry about it, because at a later time, they'll be rewarding us with our previously completed Territory Battle rule results. And so, what we got last Territory Battle, we'll get this Territory Battle. So, just take the week off Territory Battle. Use it as a chance to practice against Light Side Geo, see how your account's doing right now, that kind of thing, so... My dash team does keep almost dying. I do got to be careful. So we can keep the territory, the routine for territory battles. Yeah, I, I kind of enjoy having a, uh, a week off because like, it's just, you know, the game's constant, and so I, it's kind of nice to finally have a, a a week off. Hey, this is one that someone requested. I'm just going to throw our, our beats on shuffle and just let it kind of play, and so you guys can get whatever songs. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Leaders of Solve's amazing for Dash. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's my theory on Jar Jar. Um... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's so stupid. Yep, no problem, Interceptor. Uh, spread it to your guilds, guys, in case anyone doesn't know. Um, 
cow song? I mean, after this one, this one was requested, but I'll put the cow song on next. <clears throat> so the reason that Cad Bane is on this uh, dash team, hold on. If I'm c correct, yeah, right here. Win 14 battles with no attackers in your squad. And so because I'm trying to win 14 battles with no attackers in my squad, Cad Bane isn't an attacker. And a lot of the uh, scoundrels are attackers. And so this is just a good team for if you just have it lying around because most people have Quill IG-11, L3, and Cad Bane from Lightspeed Bundles. And so this is a great no attackers feat uh, team. So I, I will add it to the list next Reaper, I promise. Do you want the remix or do you want the original? Yes, it's Chad Bane or Bad Name, one of the two. Uh, let's... Uh, we don't have any people to level up yet. This is the problem with the free-to-play account right now, is that we need to get gear from uh, Easy Conquest. That's kind of what why we're doing Conquest, is for the gear. Uh, but we don't have any gear 12s right now, and so we got to figure out who's our next character we're getting to gear 12, which is probably going to be Hondo, and then we'll uh, we'll take a look at like, kind of what gear he needs to get from gear 12 to gear 13 and start purchasing it. But... This team's great. Original? Okay. Okay. Right now I'm just working on getting like my overall team to gear 12. So like right now I'm trying to get my pilots up to gear 12 because, you know, not only is that Watt ready geos, but it's also pilots that I can use. So I'm trying to prep for GAC next week as much as I can. Oh yeah, dude, I'm sweating bullets, Andy. Okay, let's get a farm scrap upgrade because you did ask earlier. <laughs> uh, why is that, Johnny? Why aren't you excited for this week's or this month's uh, game night? Oh yeah, I love Cash Spendar. In all of these levels, they don't cost me nothing. <clears throat> All dark side characters, and what was the other one? It was CT5555, okay. Um, might as well, right? This month is happening in, like, two days. <laughs> no, no. Um, we'll pull it up. Detectors and all of the heat seen I'm not going on the money down the sea Yeah, so, members only game night is April 18th at 6pm So, it's two days from now For all of you that are members, you can join in We're playing Battlefront 2, the 2017 version uh, We'll be doing the, and subsequent game nights We'll be doing the Battlefront collection if it gets fixed But, yes, we are doing this So Did you find out why Bo went first? Oh gosh, that's an old joke. That was like when that was when Datacrons like first came out. Risk game night stream. <laughs> oh gosh. I okay, so this is really stupid. I gotta admit, this is really stupid, but I thought about doing a stream because I'm going to visit family, and so I've got a four-hour drive this weekend, and I considered streaming and just doing a live stream while I drive, I and I wouldn't be able to look at the comments, obviously, 
but I just like I could sit there and give I don't know a discourse about Star Wars or something but because it's a live stream for this channel I could technically write the gas off as a business expense on my taxes <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was hilarious. I was thinking about doing it. I was like, nah. Uh, if I look at the comments, it'll be unsafe. And not looking at the comments is going to be, you know, it's not going to be nearly as fun of a stream. So. <laughs> mm. uh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oof, next. <laughs> do a cooking stream? Honestly, I'd be down for that. I, mean, I do love cooking. Am I good at cooking? No. Do I love cooking? Yes. Overall, my cooking is basically just trial and error is how I do cooking in general. So I've got like a couple recipes that I do normal, so... Yeah, honestly, that's the thing, though, is anything I do on stream, I can write off as a, um, uh, as something that's a business expense. So if I make food on stream, I can write off that food as a business expense. Uh, you know, if I go and buy a car, uh, and use that in a video, I can write it off as a business expense. And so it's really crazy the amount of things that I can write off as business expenses, as long as I involve you guys. So, but the thing is, I also have to be trying to maintain an audience. And so a lot of the times, you know, I want to do a side fun stream, but it's not something I can do because it'll end up being, you know, harmful to the overall uh, YouTube. Is that legal? Yes, technically it is, Grievous. Do your taxes on stream and write it all off. <laughs> uh, was there anything that I actually wanted out of these? Voluntary Vanguard. I always love a voluntary Vanguard. Okay, this is our last refresh we're doing today. Yeah, this is our last refresh, so last couple of battles. Uh, let's go back to our um, cash spend our team. Jar Jar is technically a business expense, you are correct. Uh, and so I should be able to write off the whaling that we did the other day. I mean, I'm not going to get a lot of money off of it. It's just going to be writing off the taxes. So I get, you know, it deducted off of my taxes, which is going to be nice because there's a lot of taxes when it comes to doing YouTube. <clears throat> Mara's treats. Technically. Yeah. Mars treats could be written off as a business expense. So next year I'm probably going to have to get a CPA and like, you know, talk to some people and get some stuff figured out because I'm probably not going to be able to do uh, be able to do it myself of like hey here's a uh, here's what I did it's going to be like oh I talked to someone and they do all of it for me because it's way too much but your honor I donated to the jar 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 yeah I'm honestly thinking about making a second channel and I'm just going to call it rabid beavers peepees uh, and so it's just all my side passion projects just for fun uh, okay, that's right. We're using Cash Spendor. Uh, yes, if I do a charity stream, I would write it off on my taxes. Yes. Uh, GIF out of you doing that thumbs up. <laughs> Go for it, Jan. <laughs> uh. <laughs> With all due respect, Your Honor, have you ever played Hard Conquest? It's like those frickin' ads. I don't know if you guys are getting them, but I constantly get them whenever I go to watch a video on my YouTube of, like, uh... Yeah, I was at my house. I was playing Marvel Strike Force. Like, that, that video, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it's just all over my YouTube right now. Come on, Dash. I need you to take a turn. The problem is Dash can't take a can't gain turn meter when he has burning. Also, the damage immunity is not good for this. <laughs> Let's just hit him. Uh, 
Also, IG-11 counts as a support, so he also does crazy amounts of damage whenever he gets hit, which is entertaining to me. So does Cat Bane. Basically, this whole team just deals crazy damage. It's really entertaining. The only one that doesn't is him. Or L3, not him. Her. Whoa there. That wasn't nice. Goodbye. How did he get rid of his debuffs? Anyone know how he got rid of his debuffs right there? Because that was ridiculous. I just lost a star because of that. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm sure Google steals all my data, but that's the thing. This is my YouTube account and my data isn't connected to my YouTube account like at all. Hundreds of senators are now under the influence of a Sith law called Dark City. Regional governors now have direct control over their territories. Fear will keep the local systems in line. You could do a stream called Money Laundering. We put money on laundering together. That's. Dude, destroying legal tender is a felony. Like, <laughs> you know what would be hilarious, dude? On April Fools, commit a felony. <laughs> what a great April Fools joke! <laughs> oh. oh gosh, that turn meter removal is annoying AF. Thank you, Dash. Yo, Rabbit Beaver, theoretically, if the gif of you doing the thumbs up, what would you say? If the gif of me doing the thumbs up, if you made one, what would you say? I'd say we could add it to our emojis for our uh, overall things, because I think I can have animated emojis on uh, YouTube, so. <laughs> Oof. Uh, Griffin, are you currently in my, uh, are you currently in my stream right now? I just saw your message. If it went viral, <laughs> I would congratulate you and give you a pat on the back or somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> Good job. If that, if that happened, that'd be hilarious, dude. But yeah, Griffin, are you here in the in the chat? Yeah, like I'd give you a crisp high five. I'd definitely be proud of you. I don't care, you know, what your parents say. I'm proud of you, Jan. Griffin, the reason. Okay. Um. Once I get out of this battle, I will show you why you're having that problem. Finally at low enough stamina where we can't one-tap everyone. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Griffin, so... This is a warning for all of you who are playing Conquest with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. 
There's a lot in this uh, conquest that can harm Supreme Leader Kylo Ren's viability. So if we go to our inventory, you can see here I'm using Fortified, which says 200% defense whenever an ally damaged by an enemy. They lose 5% defense and gain 3% turn meter. Uh, you also have, uh, there's another one that's whenever you gain a buff, you gain turn meter. Whenever a dark side ally on SLKR's team gains turn meter, they lose 10% max health and max protection, stacking until the end of the battle. And so basically, you're going to end up, as you gain buffs or as you get hit, your, your team's going to slowly become weaker and weaker. And so it's going to get to a point where you have no health on your SLKR or on the team in general. So you have to be very careful about the data discs that you put on if you're using SLKR in Conquest. You're looking more for stacking offense and less for stacking uh, turn meter. What's our other feats? Uh, okay, we're almost done with that. Uh, looking at yours specifically, uh, it's Spirited Speed. Yeah, it's just Spirited Speed. All you gotta do is remove Spirited Speed and they'll fix it for you. <laughs> Would you ever sell Rabbit Beaver bathwater if the money got too low? Dude, I don't make money off of this channel like at all anyways. <laughs> what do you mean if the money gets too low? No, as I start to get bigger and bigger, that's when I'll start selling the bathwater. You gotta have some clout first before you start selling bathwater. <sighs> do, do I have the convert at it? Ooh, I don't think I picked up any of the evade ones, no. But also, like... What I do have, I kill kind of feats against. I meant, I meant to click on inventory. So what I do have is we'll get rid of you and we're going to keep you, we'll get rid of you, add you. We have Republic's Resolve, which basically gives us that annoying uh, ability that makes it so whenever someone hits a Galactic Republic ally, they get hurt. Joe Correa sending 40 gifted means nothing to you? Oh, yeah, I mean... Joe Correa has helped a ton, and the thing is, I don't get money until like a month and a half after I get the money donated on stream. And so, like, Joe Correa, I am so grateful to him. He's freaking awesome. But I'm not going to see that money until next month, like a month and a week from now. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the thing, ADP, is I do have this team. So I should be able to do it not too bad. Yeah, so what, I, what I've been doing, Griffin, and honestly, it's probably not sound financially, if I were to be honest. Um, but what I've been doing is, uh, basically, I use my money I make for my job to uh, do things for, for, like, when people donate. And then I recoup those costs with my... Uh... Yeah, this team's not going to work for this. It's good, it's just not gonna work for this. Uh, there's just way too much turn meter here. Um, lovely dodge, thank you. Uh, but then I re try to recoup those costs with the money I get each month, so. Zell's ambition does stack, yes. Come on. I see another turn with Anakin's AoE and we're good. Well, there goes Anakin. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Too much turn meter. Look, 
Let's see. We're just going to use a good team against this really quick and just get rid of it because I hate going against Imperial Troopers because their speed is insane, their turn meter train is insane, and I hate it with all my heart. Um, get rid of you and get Cal. Unaligned Force users. Finally, we have, have returned. returned. Gotta love a Ray team. At this point, we should be at a point where uh, JTR basically will dodge every single attack. So we're actually getting a lot of evades right here, too. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. There you go, guys. Free to play way of doing this. Get a turn meter trained team against your Ray team. <laughs> I've been wondering, is there a way to check how old my account is? Just curious, I can't remember when I started. Uh, there's two ways of checking that I know of. Um, one is kind of uncertain, honestly. Um, but there, there's obviously another way. Um, here, let me do this last battle and then I will get to you, Interceptor. So give me just one second. Um, Oh, make him look kind of like the shield generator for uh, Gungans. That'd be interesting. Hey, Swag. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> we have returned. Die or defeat me. Yeah, Galactic War Battles, uh, like Griffin said, is one. Obviously, it's uncertain. That's the one I was going to bring up that's uncertain. Is because it's... Uh, it's only for, you know, as long as you've been level 85 is how long you've been, like, cons consistently doing Galactic War every day, most likely. So. Saddy Daddy Beaver. Uh. It goes, Swag Frog. This is our last battle of conquest on both accounts. I didn't even realize we lost someone. That's unfortunate. Getting those dodges in, dude. Uh, Griffin, would you like your live roster of you then? Would you like your, uh, your roster of you to, uh, be like, I pull you into a voice chat because that is what you get as being a timekeeper. You do get a live roster of you. Uh, what state do I live in? Right now, I live in Idaho for college. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know how it happened. Probably tomorrow? Okay. 
But yeah, anyone with the $10 membership, that's the damn awesome membership, or anyone that's helping out with our timestamps, which is our damn timekeepers, both of those people, because they basically get the same thing. Uh, so damn awesome or higher get a live roster of you so each month they can uh hit me up and i will bring them into a chat on stream and we'll talk about their roster live and you know give them advice they can ask questions that kind of thing so hey blake roberts welcome welcome no i should probably collect my rewards uh, the other way that you can find out from uh, just like when you started playing the game and when you started your account is you can actually go back through your uh, downloads on either the Apple Store, excuse me, the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, and you can actually see when you originally downloaded Swigo. And so uh, that's what I did to find out my exact day. And so my exact day is actually in seven days. I will have hit three years on the game. Is there any other ways to season a steak? Okay. Unless you guys want to see me go through with using my guide that I just made on uh, the, the raid, we're going to jump into roster reviews. Because I'm down to show you guys my raid. It's just the raid's the raid, though. <laughs> uh, sick, Griffin. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so you want to do your live roster review next... Uh, next stream so tomorrow he made an actual anniversary live the problem is let's see anniversary i'll probably still be at with family i'll see what i can do though hey bombardment welcome welcome i will show you one run which is just my top run right now well and then we'll call it good because then at least i've done what i can for my guild basically uh, Relic 5, and we got you, and you. Road stream. Yes, you are now on the late waiting list, Grievous, yes. Uh, we are looking at... Sign loadout. I have not done the membership giveaway. We, we will do that up next. We'll do that right before we jump into the roster reviews. Deal offering. We meet family. You gain money. I mean, that depends on if anyone... Uh, actually donates because you know i don't make money off of these streams typically uh, i mean i can show you my analytics for my last stream i think i made a total of two dollars and thirty cents off of the last stream just from ads so What's this? my sister sent me a text i should probably check and make sure she's not dying <laughs> what have we here? Uh, hi sis, how you doing? She's apparently watching my stream. A lot's changed. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's painful, Andy. How dare you? Uh, dude, as so, so okay. I would love to do paid promotions for companies, but the problem is I haven't gotten to a point where I'm getting consistent views for my videos, and so as soon as I do, then I can start doing that kind of thing, but I'm not at consistent viewership, and so I got to keep growing and keep working at it before I start going towards companies and asking them for uh, sponsorships and stuff, so. Uh, okay, so first round, obviously, we're hitting those dodges as often as we can. 
Uh, sure. Spread out the damage. Um, hit those dodges. Uh, kill off you. And there we go. <clears throat> Some of you bought beef real quick. Uh, okay. And we're second round, so we're still going to be hitting those dodges as much as we can. Uh, go ahead and hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Uh, hitting those dodges. Okay, now now that the second round's done, we're going to be just hitting dodges on Han. Uh, let's get through this guy quick. I feel like we lost some stacks. I could be wrong, though. Uh, okay, hit that. And we're going to shift because 12 damage is not worth hitting with our Imperial Trooper. Better to live in denial. Fair enough. Uh, I'm sorry, Griffin. I'll find videos that I can make that will apply to you all the time. Uh, we're gonna actually gonna hit him. Uh, ooh, we're so close on him. The bad batch. Uh, hit it, hit it. Okay. Um. Get a little damage on him. All in on you. Uh, hit that. Finish off you. Basic on you. Basic. Fade, basic. Okay. Ooh, okay, we're gonna go in and rage right here, so we're gonna try and time them out to both be close. Um, okay, basic here. Okay, we're gonna time this out as much as we can. Okay, I think that should be enough. Okay, sick. And then hit that, get a little bit extra score, and that get a little bit extra score, and we got almost 1.1 mil. Not a perfect run, but a really good run. <laughs> oh, come on. Fifth Brother is something everyone needs to know right now. Like, it doesn't matter if they're level one quizzers. Okay. So, we're going to jump in. Uh, let's delete this piece of at least on a run now. <clears throat> but, yeah. If you remod, it's very important. If you're struggling at all, um, you can add a third person from that list. And, you know, if, if you're struggling and you're hitting the point where, you know, you're... You're dying too quickly after a couple of attempts. You can add a third person. I've had to do that with a couple of my teams that I use. Uh, it gives you a little bit less score, but it's not like significantly less score, and it just means that you're definitely not going to get a full max run. So we're doing. Uh, we're going to do our giveaway for our memberships, and then we're jumping right into roster reviews. Ooh, ooh, sorry, sorry, my bad. We'll do memberships, and then we will do our big announcement. And then we'll jump into roster reviews. Okay. Let's get our song in here. Yeah, we'll, we'll do our outro song for uh, getting our new members. Okay, guys. Are you ready to hand out some free memberships? And for those of you who get memberships today, you can join in on our uh, um, member game night this week. 
So. Okay. You guys ready? Drum roll, please. I wish I had a soundboard for a drum roll. But hey, we got a, a beat drop coming, so that'll work for me, you know? <clears throat> okay, here we go, guys. Astro DB, Swag Frog, Jesus Dominguez, E Dude, Juan Sanchez, welcome to the damn elite, my friends. Okay. Oh, we gotta play that one more time. We we gotta play that song one more time. Start over, start over. Okay, and we got five more coming. Here we go. Isaac, Andy Nachos, Jan, Caleb Wheeler, and Caleb Prezibil... Hold on. Prezibilski. 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 Welcome to being a damn member. <laughs> Jan, you have a membership again. Woo! Okay, congratulations to all of you that are members. Make sure that your Discord name matches or you send a message to one of our um, our moderators so that way we can know who needs their membership still. <clears throat> Yo, three Calebs. Yep, there's Calebs everywhere. Okay, sweet. Okay. Um... Only money. Okay. So, <laughs> apparently your audience is 10% Caleb. Uh, make sure for future gifting, make sure you have gifting activated on your account. Uh, so that way you have a chance of doing it. And the longer that you watch my streams, the more you interact with my streams and comment and post, the more likely you are to get a gifted membership. So, uh, um, okay. So our big reveal, guys. Let's get this out of your guys' way. Okay. We're going to wait for these to go away really quick. We're at Caleb Wheeler. How many we got left? Okay, just the next Caleb, and then we're good. Uh, and we'll get our first person. Uh... Yeah, so that's why you got a membership, Jan. Gifting in the sort? You mean like this? It's just right here. Yeah, rip to those who didn't get a membership. Okay, so... Uh, let's get our roster review section open for ourselves, just so that way we have a kind of where we're at. Okay, so we got a couple people. Sweet. Uh, also, additional thing, if any of you have gotten roster reviews from me before, please do discuss what you used, like what you worked on since the last time that we talked about, so that way we can celebrate your guys' successes. Yeah, there you go, Bombardment. Um, he's got you right there. Needs to be over 18, so you need to be over 18 years old, I'm guessing you're saying, and then you need to be level 85. Is it level 85, really? I actually haven't checked on this account. Hmm. Interesting. I could have sworn this was still here. But then again, I never really checked. Okay, so, you guys ready for the announcement? We're putting on our song for the announcement, absolutely. Okay, guys, so, exciting news in my opinion, I don't know, maybe you guys won't be as excited for this, but I'm super excited for this. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna react before everyone else can. Uh, so... I, myself, am going to be moving closer to family soon. Um, 
I, you know, I'm doing mostly online classes anyways right now because my um, the college I'm going to is being really funky with the way housing works. Um, and so I'm going to move down uh, to a different state to be closer to family. And so, uh, you know, either way, I'm moving down. It just depends on how fast I can move down. And so uh, in an attempt to both, uh, you know, up some revenue and get some revenue but also have a fun little thing for you guys uh we are going to have our very first uh subathon we are going to start at a certain time and the way that subathons work is every time someone's donates every time someone gets a membership it adds time on so the cap is going to be 30 hours but it'll start out as a six hour stream and then depending on how many people donate, how many new members we get, we'll have different tiers of incentives, including new emojis, dropping new music early, uh, showing off our brand new intro to the, our streams, uh, as well as a Jar Jar Binks uh, costume for the Jar Jar reveal. And also one of the top things for the incentives is going to be you guys get to do whatever you want to my dating profile for a month. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's capped at 30 hours. So if we do hit our 30 hours, we'll be starting at 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is two hours before Grand Arena ends. And so we will do our Grand Arena, and then we will continue on into the next day, and then do our next Grand Arena. So... We'll see how it goes, but I'm I'm very excited to see, you know, how it goes. So come help the beaver move the dam. We're moving the dam to a different state. So um, we'll be starting on Thursday, April 25th. So I'll be posting this everywhere in the Discord on YouTube so everyone can see it. Uh, and also, I've also, big news, I've gotten Arnold to agree to raid me with his viewers after his stream's done on that Thursday. So super exciting stuff. We're going to have a lot of fun. So, I'm I'm very, very excited. Speaking of which, uh, we are going to throw this in the Discord right now. Just so everyone knows. It doesn't seem complicated. Welcome. 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 <clears throat> I am the <laughs> Fedora tricks to his dating profile. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm going to be telling all the other streamers. I have a group chat with most of them. I'm going to see if I can get all of them to raid me throughout the time. So, the Damathon. I'm so down to call it that. Cave Diver, Diver, welcome to the damn community. Thank you for subscribing, my friend. <clears throat> okay, let me whip this up really quick for you guys. We'll, we'll throw on a... Uh, there's an auto battle we can do in the raid that I can throw on for you guys while I whip this up for the Discord. So, these two together. We talked about this on our uh, video that we did. So we're going to... Uh, I didn't want to hit that. I want mod loadouts. Uh, Imperial, assign, confirm, and then we're going to go over to this beautiful beast, and we're going speed, health, um, sort by speed, we didn't do that last time. Okay, well, we need a crit damage, crit damage, and then we need a s offense mod right there. Confirm. Yeah, we'll just call it Chewy. There we go. Now we have our third one for the raid. 
Oh, I, I'm probably not going to be sleeping. I, I honestly will stay up the entire time for the stream. And so you can see here, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with some Grand Arena. Then we'll go into some Conquest after Grand Arena. And then from there, we're going to go into Force Unleashed. And we're going to play through some of my favorite Star Wars games on stream. And we're going to see how many of them we can finish. And so uh, you can see here the ones that I have planned. Galaxy of Heroes, Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed 2, and Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. We'll see if I can get through at least Force Unleashed and Force Unleashed 2. It is April 25th at 1 p.m. is when it starts. So I will have something in Discord in just a second. <clears throat> All night are confirmed. All well, it entirely depends on you guys. If we get memberships, if we get donations, it'll increase the timer, and we will go into the night and go through an all nighter. So, <clears throat> but the like the new Battlefront two, the old Battlefront one and two, like what are you talking, Samu? Do like the new Battlefront two or the old Battlefront two? Okay. Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong button. It's auto basic, I hit auto instead. That was my bad. Let's jump in again. Hey, to be fair, ADP, we're looking at going into the next day, so you could like just hop in early, donate a bit, and then just get the timer to the point where you can join us. And so then you can do it whenever, you know? <clears throat> New so viewers can play. Oh, okay, I see. Do a, a game night. I'd be down to do a game night during that and just let anyone join. Absolutely, I'd be so down for that. Start up a private server. Okay, let these guys basic it out. Sounds good, Johnny. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'll run back to you, Johnny. Just let me know when you get back, and we'll uh, we'll do it. Sounds good, Johnny. Yeah, just let me know, and we'll get you. Have I played Star Wars: The Republic? I've played uh, about three quarters of the Bounty Hunter campaign. That's about as much as I've played. <clears throat> okay, let me, uh, honestly, let's just throw in an auto team because I'm just like, I'm already doing great. 
don't want to throw any good teams in is the problem. Okay. If only I could have one of you guys control my uh, my stuff right now. So I could just have you guys do this. Oof. That's rough. Okay, there we go. All finished. You've got a lot of guts in here. Okay. After what you pulled. YouTube chat plays Ender Raid would be a great stream though. Dude, that'd be such a nightmare. You, yeah, everyone would get motion sick just trying to get anything done. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's do this guy. This this is gonna be a quick one, and then we will jump into our uh, our roster reviews. Just because we're already here. Oh, we didn't put on mods anyway, so this isn't gonna be a good run anyways. So we're gonna ignore it. Yeah, so the farthest I'd gotten in here is the 3.6, uh, and after, you know, learning what I learned and doing the mods and everything, uh, yeah, 5.2 million, so, if you haven't watched my video about raids, go watch my video about the raid. <clears throat> okay. We are gonna swap away from our pumping music, and we're gonna jump into our kind of just chill music. As we do our roster reviews. Okay. Uh, I guess it helps if I unmute it, right? Wow, that's a little loud. There we go. Is that any of the GIF? Oh gosh. Okay, as soon as it pops up in my Discord. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, can I add this right now? <laughs> Am I able to add this? <laughs> Oh, this would be amazing if I can add this. Okay. Um... Okay, uh, let's see. Going over to... Okay, it's under this tab. Uh, that tab. Oh, I forgot to add that. I need to add that for you guys. question
I'm not seeing the option. Dang it. Ah, oh, dang, they haven't added it yet. They have the ability to add them, yes, but then it's like it adds it as a static image. So they haven't added it quite yet. Dang. Okay. Sad. It was worth a try. Oh, I love it. This is. Hold on, let me show it to everyone. Uh, it's so fuzzy because it's such a small image, but I love it. <laughs> uh, I'll see if I can add it in Discord, absolutely. Okay, let's see if we can add it in Discord. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, I never remember how to do this. There we go. Emojis. Upload emoji. Get over here. What does the file type have to be? Uh, file tab has to be a GIF specifically. What is what is this uh, format that you sent me? It's a move file. I need to convert it into a GIF. Trying to figure out, hold on. I am as well. I think I got it. Sweet. It is done. Let's try it. Oh, I have to have nitro to use it. That's sad. I don't want to buy nitro. But hey, it's on there for those who have Nitro, you can use it now. Congratulations. Okay. Sorry, that was a huge side tangent. We're jumping into uh, roster reviews now. Okay. So first up we have Isaac. Uh, so Isaac, are you still here?
Okay, Isaac. So you finished SLKR's ult recently. Seven star, you're your executor. And now you're working on CLS squad after going for JML while at the same time improving mods. Okay, after you're going for JML. Got it for the game pass. Fair enough. Why is this song playing? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, okay, so you have Spring Lear Color Run done, you have Ray done, and you said you got your executor to seven stars. You have your Relic Razor Crest. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So, as soon as you get Interceptor, this this Iden should be relic I love the fact that you already have the TIE Defender ready to go. Okay, sounds good, Jan. You have a great day. Hey, Travis Hinton. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm already liking where this account is at right now. Uh, you're approving your mods. I love seeing the Finn Zeta. You already have Zori relic Overall, you're finishing your farms. You're not sleeping on your... Um, on your farms at all you don't have a relic savage but you also don't have the omicron on him so i'm 100 percent fine with him being there i inversio you he, she's fine where she's at until you have an entire interceptor so already i'm liking where this account is looks like you bought the uh hyperdrive bundle at some point hence all the level 80s um so let's take a look at your rebels So you mentioned that you're working on a CLS. Where are your, where's your CLS specifically? You have a Relic Chewbacca and a Relic Han Solo, but no Relic CLS. That's insane. Um, I do like what you're kind of starting, which is, you know, finishing this team before you go for Jedi Knight Luke. I definitely think that's the best route to do it. So get your CLS up, get your C-3PO, and get your 3-Pock up before you uh, go and, you know, finish the Jedi Knight Luke event. Uh, speaking of Jedi Knight Luke... Um, so something that I would suggest working on sooner rather than later is starting to work on this faction. So if you're going to go for JML, you're going to need a Jedi Knight Revan either soon or later. Either way, start working on him now. Um, he's amazing with JML. He's amazing on his own with Jedi Knight Luke. So I would highly suggest working your way and getting those shards. Uh, don't let it interrupt your JML farm, obviously, but if you've already got most of the characters, you know, 7-star for JML, I'm guessing Mon Mothma is really the only one that you're missing, because that's typically the only one people are missing. Yeah, I'm not seeing a Mon Mothma, but she could be in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing her. So you still have a couple characters to, like, 7-star, but you basically have most of them done. That's thanks to the Lightspeed bundles uh, and that kind of thing. Um... So, honestly, I would add the Jedi Knight Revan requirements to your farms, so that way you can have not only just a solid place to put your Jedi Knight Luke while you're waiting for JML, but also once you have your JML, you'll have a really solid team going because you can have the classic Hoda, uh, Jedi Knight Luke, Jedi Knight Revan team with them. Uh, or if you know you want to split it up, you can always split it up. But you'll have the options there, and that's really important. Also, you'll be building up Jolie and Bastila, which are two great characters. And ba uh, Jolie is fantastic on JML in general, and just any Jedi team because of the fact that he can revive Jedi. And it revives all Jedi with his Zeta, which is super, super nice. So that would be my suggestion to you. I like the idea of upping your mods in general. That's always super, super good. We'll take a look at your mods just really briefly. 344 on Mara Jade looks sexy. I love it. I'm guessing the light speed bundles put you a little bit back, and that's the problem you're running into, and I 100% get it. Uh, yeah, so your mod fall off's pretty harsh, but you you recognize this, and you're working on your mods, and it happens when it comes to light speed bundles. So, honestly, I see zero problems with your current strategy of where you're going. Your account looks really good right now, Isaac. Uh, let's just take a look at your fleets and make sure here's where you're suffering. So I need you to finish Echelon. I need that Special Forces TIE Fighter in here. It's not a hard farm. You can just get it from the store. That'll allow you to counter Executor with this. Uh, it looks like you're out of fleet credits, and so I, I get that. It happens. But start working on this fleet. Get it done. If you can throw Executor on defense and then bring Finalizer on offense, that's going to be your best use of your fleets. 
So I highly suggest finishing so, uh, some off meta fleets, going for TIE Interceptor, going into the Chimera. If you have a fully done Chimera fleet and a fully done First Order fleet, you can basically be any fleet you need to. <clears throat> Ship credits are a nightmare. Uh, consider purchasing them, honestly. I did it for a while myself. Uh, also, you have a comeuppance, you have a Relic Zori, please get yourself a bomber. Uh, I'm not going to say it's top priority, but it is pretty high in priority. Get yourself a bomber, it's fantastic. Uh, especially because Finalizer struggles very hard against Malevolence, and this is a good Malevolence counter. And it's a funny Malevolence counter. You know those battles where I do the battle and then I just start laughing because it's so insanely ridiculous? That's how the Malevolence battle goes with this fleet. When, uh, so I highly suggest getting the bomber at some point. Sounds good, Griffin. You have a great day. Um, but yeah. Just not active? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Is it here? Yeah. Like, I, I used to pick this up all the time when I was really struggling. And you can also, right here, pick them up as well. Right here, this one is a lot of the times ship credits. We'll, let's see if we can show you on our free-to-play account. Most of the time, it's not credits for both of them. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Uh, that one. Okay, it's not going to show me on either of them, apparently. We got the perfect RNG just to be upsetting, you know? F it, why not? There you go. So, great spot to get yourself some ship credits. Also, big side news for uh, for our account. We now have Captain Tarples at 7 stars and gear 12. And we have his uh, Chirotex done. So we are down to just needing Chirotex for two more characters. And then we are finished with the Gungans. So, making good progress on our Gungans. But... <laughs> I need to prove a point, okay? <laughs> You're fine, Isaac. I, I wanted to show you where to find them, so I wanted to make sure, you know, you knew I wasn't crazy. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Mischievous Grievous, are you still here? There he is. Can we get a General Kenobi in here for Mischievous Grievous? Ah, you can't do it to yourself. Another member, Griffin, Isaac, Chan, someone, who, whoever's still here, get us a General Kenobi for this fine fellow. <clears throat> Especially with his name. Um, okay, so this is your account, right? I didn't just like auto do it without thinking. We will double check. Thank you, Astro, Rando, Sirens, all of you. You are amazing. Mm. Okay. Finishing Ray Farm, sadly. Uh, sadly? Why, why sadly? I mean, I get you don't like her as a character, but, like... Bottleneck being Y-Wing for JML. Wondering if I should knock out Jabba or Profanity next. My fleet arena is flooded with Leviathans. Uh... Lol, no pun intended. I can barely hit 20 with Executor, so I end up settling for 50 crystals. What's your bounty hunter? Or we'll just go to your ships, honestly. No problem. We get it. Everyone can lurk. <clears throat> Seven, eight, that's solid. I mean, if you up your IG-2000's relic levels, you can uh, take on uh, Leviathans much easier. Uh, but overall, I mean, if you're looking for a next farm, 
and you're worried about getting your crystal income like that, Leviathan's the way to go because, or Profani's the way to go because Profani can beat Leviathan. So there is your Ray, beautiful. Um, so that that would be my suggestion to you. We'll take a look at your mods though. Three nineteen being your fastest character with six point four million GP isn't the greatest. Let's see if there's a big mod fall off. Like it's still good, but it's not amazing. Mm, it's a it's a hard choice. Uh, I think Java will be great for getting your mods on track. Um. Ah, oh, you're fine, Grievous. Um, it like it looks like you know how to mod. It's just you you just need to work on your mods a bit and get your top characters a little bit better. Um, and so Jabba could give you better modding, but um, Profani will give you crystals. I would always take crystals over mods. Um, so I'm going to say go for the titties. Um, definitely what I would suggest. Hi, Mara. Hi. Hi. Um, but yeah, I mean, finishing the ray farm makes sense. Let's just check if you have any holes, basically. That's all I'm kind of worried about in this account. So far, like, most of the holes that I'm seeing are not problems. Yeah. After your current round, okay, here's one thing that I'm seeing, is you need to relic your Aiden. So I'd finish Ray and then relic Aiden next, and then go on for JML, um, because this is just too good of a team to sleep on. I, I also would love to see this Emperor's Shuttle finished. Um, it's just super, super nice, because this is a great fleet, and I don't want to see it get slept on. Um, I need to click Zip. That's what I want. Uh, your Echelon and your Special Forces are being slept on as well. So it looks like your fleets need some work. So going for a Profundity, I think, is a great idea just for that Crystal Income. But overall, after... Ooh, excuse me. Uh, after JML, I would highly suggest taking some time and finishing some farms. You have some fleets that you need to finish. Uh, like, you know, your First Order fleet, your Chimera fleet. Um... You also have some teams to finish, like you have a Darth Revan sitting in your account with nothing on him. Uh, so you have some stuff to finish, uh, and I would highly suggest just taking that time after you finish JML and just full on on them. I'm not seeing a... Okay, you have a Relic 3 Dark Trooper. That's good. Solid, solid. Hmm. But yeah. That would be my kind of big suggestion to you. Ooh, that's painful, dude. Hold on. You don't have the Finn Zeta, uh, but you have Zori with both her Zetas. Get that Finn Zeta ASAP. That is what that what makes that team pop off. So please, I know you're Zeta poor, and I get it, and I understand. Um, but I would put your next Zeta on Finn and then start putting your Zetas on Ray because you can afford to leave them off as you're gearing her up to Relic levels. But this is a team that you could immediately have. This is one that I would love to see to your account. Thank you. Excuse me again. Sorry. Um, you already have the Omicron. You already have the Zetas on her. Drop that Zeta and watch this team go burr. Like, uh, there's no other way to say it. But yeah, other than that, yeah, looking like a good, solid account. Um, I don't think your farming path is a problem, but I do think you should take a break, uh, either after Ray or after JML, um, and just, you know, shore up some holes, especially in your fleets. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you, you mentioned you want to finish up more core teams. I do it sooner rather than later. Like, I, I just got to Kyber not too long ago, and I've been building out teams since I got to Kyber. And honestly, it's been the best thing for my roster to keep me in Kyber is finishing my fleets and building out my teams. So, you're about to make it into Kyber. Highly suggest that's where you go. 
Uh, Pascal, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Nasty Balls, for getting in there so fast with the channel, Kenobi. Uh, is Johnny still here? I think Johnny left for some studying, but I don't know if he came back. If not, we have... Oh, gosh, Maurice? Uh, Maurice, speaking of you. Uh, GAC focus about light speed bundles just finished executive requirements farming for SLKR still working on Ray's ultimate. Six million GP. <laughs> Six million GP and light speed bundles got your first GL is kind of where oh oh dude dude the Omicron no. Oh, okay. Okay. But 6 million GP and having your first GL from the Lightspeed Bundles is a little rough. Um, looks like you're, you've got some core teams that you're working on. Yeah, Karth, Finn. Gear 12 Wampa. <sighs> Yeah. Asajj. Oof, 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 oof. Okay. Here's what I want for your roster. I can already see a, a path. And it's a very important path. Um. Okay, let's take a look at your... You're farming the echelon. You already have the special forces. Good job, dude. Uh, you need yourself an Iden Versio and a Tide Defender. You need to finish your BTLB. Gosh, I don't know why I'm suddenly yawning so much. Okay, Johnny, we will get to you right after we finish with this one. Okay. You're working on your Star Fortress. You have your comeuppance at usability area, which this is all you really need. You just need to get your Star Fortress up. So your big thing is Echelon and Star Fortress right now. And then after you finish that, you'll transfer into uh, TDC and BTLB and just get these fleets done. Uh, overall, looking at your account, what I want you to do is I want you to finish up your Lightspeed Bundles. And then instead of going on to your next big project, I'd like to see you build outwards. Uh, you've already built outwards a lot in your roster, and I need to see some of these things finished. You haven't finished a lot of your farms. You have, uh, first things first, I want ASAP even before you finish SLKR or anything else. I want this Wampa Relict. You already threw the Omicron on him. He needs to be Relic 5. Um, side notes, uh, you have a complete, like, with Darth Malak team of sith empire that you just have not finished same with the uh, jedi with jedi knight revan and after you know your current farms uh your next major pro project should be jml so jedi knight luke is going to be on that way and is going to fit into that jedi team you don't have finished you have a zori that's almost gear 13 you have a lot of stuff that's just partially done uh, you have a star killer that's not relic and he has the omicron does he have the right omicron yes he does have the right omicron so like, that's what I want you to focus on, is finishing these farms. And so, the ones I would like to see now, rather than later. So, I want you to focus down Ray's Ultimate. I want you to focus down SLKR hard. But the two that I want you to do before you even finish those is going to be Wampa and Starkiller. Because they will be a huge addition into your roster. Uh, it'll be super, super helpful for GAC. And then after that, you can start working, you know, you finish... SLKR, you finish Ray, go straight into just finishing some of these teams. Get yourself a solid Jedi and Revan team. Get yourself a solid Darth Revan team. Uh, you know, get yourself finished with this Zori. Get your, especially if you have a Datacron lying around. Like, get yourself a full Datacron, get that Zori Relict, and you're going to have a lot of fun in GAC over the next couple of months. So, be, be taking a look at getting maybe one or two um, Resistance Crons during this current Conquest. Um, you have like a CLS team started. You have Bam at gear 12. Needs to be Relic 3 at least for his fleet. 
You have a Calcestis you could throw through Starkiller. I'd love to see that finished. Your CLS overall should be finished. If you have an Omicron, you have a Gear 12 Savage you could finish. And then get your Treya team that you already started investing in that Treya with. So yeah, that would be my suggestion to you. Is after you finish um, uh, Ray and SLKR, just build out all of your core teams because you already have a ton invested into them already. Uh, most people, I would say, go to your next big project uh, unless you want to build out. And then here's a couple ideas. But for you, you've already built out, so finish those farms. That's the big thing I'm going to say. Um, during those finishing of farms, you can obviously finish your fleets as well because you mentioned that that was a problem for you. So overall, let's take a look at your mods. 297 isn't the best for your mods overall so if you need a good mod filter go take a look at my uh, mod farming plan uh, it'll tell you you know how not to invest in mods too far how to get some good mods as well as give you a mod filter to find things I want Mara Jade over 300 and uh, um, finish my packs my packs of what um, But yeah, Mara Jade, uh, I'd like to see over 330 speed resistance hero Finn with that Zori that you have lying around. Um, I want this guy over 330 speed. Uh, Queel, solid choice being this high. Uh, I'd like to see Darth Revan up high. Oh, finish your light speed packs. Okay, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, like, you know, that Star Killer really needs to be finished. <clears throat> yes. And so, yeah, just, you know, honestly, this is a roster to finish your farms and work on your mods a bit. Um, because, like, it has a solid start into a lot of different things, but it doesn't have, like, a, it hasn't finished any of the things that started. So, take some time. I know it hurts. I've done the same thing for the last couple of months, and it's been killing me. I'll show you this just to show that I can share in your pain. Uh, for the last couple of months, I haven't gone for a single GL or a single major farm. I've been working on Gungans. I've been working on my Mommy Mandalore. I've been working on my Armor, my uh, Ben Solo, my Cat, um, my Inquisitors, my like all of these side farms, just trying to finish a whole bunch of farms in my roster, uh, finishing my Imperial Troopers, finishing my Darth Revan, finishing all these farms in the last year. Uh, because I never went around to finishing them and now I'm in Kyber because of it I finished some fleets I finished some farms and I'm in Kyber and having no problems um, And it, it pains me because the last couple of months. I've been just doing you know side projects uh, and you take a look at uh, Where's Galactic Legends Jedi Master Luke I have Old Ben at Relic 3. I have C-3PO at Relic 3. I have Mon Mothma at uh, 7 stars already. Jedi Knight Luke is at Relic 5. R2-D2 is at Gear 12. Hermit Yoda is at Relic 3. Lando Calrissian is at Relic 3. I am literally like two, maybe three weeks away from getting JML. And I just keep putting it off because I've got side farms that I really need to finish to make my account perfect. So, yeah. Focus down. Get those things done. I suggest getting your two GLs finished and then focusing down hard. But that Wampa and that Star Killer should be like immediately. Ooh. Okay, we got Sombrador. Oh no, Johnny. We were gonna do John Johnny. That's right. Johnny, you're back. So. Johnny, you're finishing SLKR gear, and you're also on a Zeta Crunch. Um, I mean, aren't we all? Just looking for a general overview of things I can improve on. Currently at 320 of 330 cat shards. Ooh, very nice. I was about to say, do you have JMK? Uh... Okay, so you're at that point where you're you're kind of gonna unlock all of the conquest units together. Very cool. Start about to start inquisitors for the guild. Okay. Yeah, no problem, Maurice. Good luck, my friend. Come back uh, when you've worked on it a bit. I'd love to see your progress. Okay, so you have a Star Killer team, you have a Gas team, you have a Jedi Knight Revan team. Oh, let's see how all these are finished. Mmm, shame. 
For shame. Your gas should not be with your JMK. Obviously in squad arena it works. Uh, like it's it's the best thing to do in squad arena. But in general, this needs to be finished, my friend. Okay, let's kind of go through your uh, your different teams you have sitting here and see what you haven't finished. So you have a Magna Guard, but you haven't finished your B2 or your B1. Um, let's check your CLS. You have CLS, Chewbacca, C3PO, Han Solo, and Chupio. Good job. Your CLS is done. You have a great day, Rando, or night, or whatever it might be for you. Uh, okay, so your CLS is done, which is good to see. You have a Captain Rex, so you're not sleeping on that. You have your Star Killer. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren's right there. Um. Okay, and the next step I want to look at. Jedi and Imperial Troopers. I mean, you have enough Jedi and you have a Joe Lee relict. You don't have a Bastila relict. You have a Hoda, perhaps? No? No Hoda? Okay. Um, looking at this account, Johnny, um, honestly, what I would do is I'd finish SLKR. Um... And then I would actually just work on teams. Well, let's see where you are right now. Kyber 5. Impressive being in Kyber 5 with this account, honestly. JMKs can take you a long ways. Are, are you close to the TIE Interceptor? Because I feel like you kind of have to have a TIE Interceptor at this point. If you're close to the other Conquest characters, you should have a TIE Interceptor. Echelon you're working on. Hmm. Yeah, so I would finish SLKR. Uh, one more team to look at. Only proving friends you can't do. Oh, that's rough. Sorry, I got a message from another content creator. Um, so, yeah, I would finish SLKR. Just got Gideon Relics today. Very cool. Uh, so, honestly, I wouldn't start new farms. So, you uh, you mentioned uh, thinking about Bo-Katan. Uh, I'm guessing your Bo-Katan character that you have finished is... Uh, the Mandalorian, the best card Mandalorian at Relic 7. And you have Bo-Katan, but you only have Paz at 3 stars, IG-12 at 3 stars. Uh, and I'm guessing you don't have anything for Keller and Beck either. Yeah, Keller and Beck's 3 stars. I'm not going to say start a new farm. I don't think that's a great idea. I think what you should do is you should finish your SLKR. So you have a defensive Galactic Legend with uh, JMK. You have an offensive Galactic Legend with Star uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And then I think you should build out some of these teams. Finish the Gas team. Get them all up to Relic. Um, you know, uh, finish. Don't finish your Jedi Knight Revan team. I'd honestly leave your Jedi Knight Revan team for now. But finish your John Grievous team. Relic B1. Relic B2. Uh, and then get a Gear 10 Newt Gunray and drop Newt Gunray Zeta on him. Uh, and that will give you a JML counter. Uh, it'll also just be a great team in general. Um, relic your last Darth Revan character, so you can start throwing Datacrons on them. Um, that would that would be my suggestion to you. Uh, I do love seeing the Relic Dark Trooper. Very good, very good. Um, 
but yeah, so finish finish some of your farms, finish some of your fleets, keep working on your fleets. Um, and I would build outwards that way, and then I'd come back around and I'd finish Ray. Um, you know, starting with Finn the and the Zori team. Uh, start there and then go into Ray because you bought all the Lightspeed bundles, right? I was seeing a lot of Lightspeed bundles. Yeah, so you're almost to Ray. So then you'll come back around after you've built up some of your teams, especially at 501st. But build up some of your teams, you come back around, hit that ray, and then go from there into JML. And JML will build out your Jedi Knight Revan team, giving you Jedi Knight Luke. Uh, and so that would be my suggestion for kind of the order of operations. So finish SLKR, do some side farms, finishing out your current stuff that you already have, and then move on to ray and then into JML. I wouldn't suggest adding in new farms besides Inquisitors, because Inquisitors are for your guild. So fit them in wherever you can. I highly suggest after SLKR, um, but fit them in wherever you can. If It depends on kind of where your guild's at for, like, when they want them. Like, mine wanted them by June, and so I held off for a couple months because I was like, I can get them done in, like, a month and a half, two months. And so I held off for a bit, and then I finished them. So if you can hold off for a bit and finish some of these farms, I'd prefer that. And then going for the Inquisitors. So up to you, Johnny. But that would be my order of operations for this account. Uh, because I really in Kyber, you need a lot of good teams um, and a lot of good fleets. And you, know, you can rely heavily on a JMK. A JMK still trips people up no matter where you are, especially with you getting cat. Like, cat should be a panic farm where you, like, immediately get cat up. <clears throat> How are you getting 1,050 Kairos? Well, you see, they drop the packs about every two weeks for an extra 100 Kairos. So that's 400 Kairos that you get for free. I finished Malevolence and Negotiator already. And so I'm putting all of my get three and get two towards Cairo techs. Uh, and so roughly that's 3,000 is going to be... 5, 10, 15, 45, that's 50 Chirotex from get 3, that's um, get 2, I want to say is roughly probably another 90, maybe 80 Chirotex uh, there, plus the Chirotex farming that I'm just doing in general, uh, plus, you know, all my currency from Grand Arena going to it. Uh, like, it's it's not too hard to get that many Kairos in that amount of time when you already have things like Negotiator and Malevolence already done, and you're just super focused on just getting Cairo techs. So. <clears throat> but yeah. And you're willing to spend 40 bucks on the, uh, the Cairo tech packs over those two months. Yeah, it's the Kyber Squish for you, buddy. Yeah, uh, I don't know what's happening with, like, the Kyber uh, in general, but, like, I mean, have you looked at the top Kyber one? This has been a big problem. You see, it's such a problem, the game just crashed on me to prevent me from showing everyone. Hey, Rohit, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so... Those Chirotech, if you're looking to spend money, and I don't endorse spending money, especially if it's going to put you in poverty. Um, but if you're going to spend money in this game, those Chirotech packs are the best thing you can get. The ones that come out every two weeks that are $5 for a 25 of each Cairo, and you can buy it twice. Best use of your money in this game, by far. Ooh, that really helps with your JMK. That makes it so your JMK can't be killed by your uh, by Maul. <clears throat> hey, E dude, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, we're gonna show you Kyber. Yeah, so there's interesting things going on in Kyber right now that need to be addressed and fixed. Uh, wrong way. So, Kyber 1. Um. Yeah, so this is definitely a Kyber 1 account. 5 million GP, 2 Galactic Legends, no ultimates. Definitely a Kyber 1 account. Uh, the number one player in the game. 
Yeah, that's a Kyber One account. Two GLs from the Lightspeed Bundles, six million GP. Oh. These guys are just crazy at the game. They're so freaking cracked. Oh my gosh, dude. So cracked. This guy is definitely the number three player in this game. Yes. So there is a glitch going on where if you score too well in like Bronzium, Carbonite, and uh, Chromium, you accidentally get bumped to Kyber 1. There's a weird glitch with the score. Uh, and while they were doing the Kyber squish or whatever they were calling it, where they were trying to reevaluate how, you know, everything worked, they accidentally put some bit of code in that basically made this happen. And so the top 50 players, like, there's not a lot in here. Like, this guy, this guy is, you know, an actual player, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this guy is an actual Kyber 1 player. He's, he's in Kaw. Um, but then, like, you, you, whoops, I didn't mean to click on his Leviathan. Where Arnold at? Uh, last I heard, I think Arnold was in number 40, somewhere around there. We can check really quick. Well, it looks like he got knocked down. Which, I mean, it's the end of the season, so it makes sense that he get knocked down. Because uh, we're going to get a huge flood of new players again. But yeah, like... Like, yeah, Ma, of course. Yeah, Ma is one of those people. But then, like, you know, this guy? Yeah. So, 90% of Kyber 1 right now is... Okay, 90%. 90% of the top 50 of Kyber 1 is people that shouldn't be here. So... Dude, you're going to absolutely spank people in Erodium. But yeah, building out those teams and building out those fleets, I think, is going to be super, super helpful for getting you to stay in Kyber permanently. Because honestly, once you can stay in Kyber permanently, it doesn't really matter. You'll just stay in Kyber 3, which is what I do. Which I'm in Kyber 2 now, which I'm going to get stomped. Did anyone else hear about planned maintenance? Because I didn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, it's probably for the territory war. Or territory battle, sorry. Yeah. Here, let's see if... uh, No, nothing in the news channel. So I don't know. Okay, Sombrador, are you here? Okay, Travis Hinton. Okay. Um one sick. Okay, Travis, give me just one sec. I'm going to take Mara out, and I will be right back.
My bad. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, three-year farm, free-to-play. If you're fully free-to-play, three-year farm for uh, Leviathan, you're correct. What a boy. Okay, so... Looking at your account... JMK is so far off the beaten path nowadays that I can't suggest him to most people. Um, my suggestion to you, honestly, well, let's let's check your fleets real quick. You're finishing your echelon. You don't have a relic Iden Versio. I would highly suggest this should be on your list for like what you do next. Iden Versio should be like near the top of your list. Not only is she great in the the uh, the raid, she's also you know this makes this team absolutely insane. And so I would not sleep on her, especially in Kyber. Uh, how much for a roster of you, uh, Matthew Davies? Uh, any amount if you want to put at the top of the list, or you can just sign up for a free one. Uh, in the discord up to you uh but i don't have much time i've got about 15 minutes at the very most uh, before i have to get off so we will see how many we can get through but if you want to be the top of the list any amount you can pay uh, if you want me to ro roast your roster or roast someone else's roster it's five dollars <clears throat> um but yeah iden versio super super important Finishing as a side farm. Okay, perfect. Um, you need to finish your BTLB, my friend. Uh, overall, I think you should take some time just looking at this account and where it is right now. Uh, take some time and finish your fleets. I think that is one of the biggest things you can do to help yourself out in Kyber. And so that being said, I think Profundity is an excellent next farm for you, uh, just in general. Uh, I, I love the idea of putting a profundity in this account, but honestly, your your uh, your off meta really needs work. So that would be my suggestion to you: is just put, get a solid push into fleets just in general, because your your character side looking pretty schmexy. I like where you're going with it, um, and I think that Leia and JML, uh, or sorry, Leia and JML, uh, Leia and Jabba are excellent farms for you. Um, how do I buy? Uh, you just so I can actually show you. Uh, open web browser. So when you're in chat, uh, this is obviously my pull away chat. So I got, that way I can interact with you guys, start polls and that kind of thing. Uh, but just right here, you can show your support for Rabbit Beaver. You can click that, and it's super chat. So that's how you do it through YouTube. Otherwise, I have to find some way to do like PayPal or Venmo, and that sounds like a pain so <clears throat> so yeah i i definitely think job is a great addition to this account but i would focus down fleets do off meta while you're working towards your profundity and then after you finish your profundity go straight into leia and just go that route uh and then after that i uh, honestly i'd go sith eternal jmk just because that's the most efficient route uh, but alternatively, you could always go uh, JMK into Sith Eternal, but Sith Eternal and JMK just makes more sense. So that would be my overall like order of GLs for you. Did not mean to click that. Uh, Bounty Hunter. Uh, I would also like to see these two relict ASAP. <laughs> Thank you, ADP, for coming in with $5. Yeah, it's been a little sad. <laughs> been a rough stream um but hey we've had some fun we've made some big announcements and that's what i'm happy about but thank you for the five dollars my f good sir being our damn sugar daddy still maintaining that spot too uh but yeah i would relic these two as well so definitely just focusing down on your fleets i think is going to be the biggest thing for this roster so that that would be my major go-to one sec Sorry, my roommate had the audacity to speak. How dare he, I know. Uh, okay. 
<clears throat> thanks, ADP. Yeah, thanks for uh, walking me through that and kind of explaining everything. Um, really helped me. And hopefully it'll help everyone with the, my raid guide, so. Uh, but yeah. Looking like a great account, but yeah, Fleets is huge in Kyber, and I highly suggest it, especially if they go the way that, that people are thinking they're going to go, where as soon as they add in the next GL ship, they're going to add in uh, a fourth fleet, and at that point, you're going to be screwed with where you're at right now. So, very much so, I highly suggest focusing on your fleets after you finish your drop up. Okay, uh, jumping into Tomoy. Tomoy, are you still here? There's ADP. I don't know why that took so long. Like, that was forever, it feels like. I, e dude, I don't know if it was today, but if it was... It was today, it was me, but... If it was another day, then it was Joe Correa. So... <laughs> I literally wrote that, uh, read that Tamoy as I am dead. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Okay, so you said about your account. What was that? Oh, Agent Nexo, welcome to the damn community. Thank you for subscribing. I need to get some new audio in for things. Okay, you're looking for panic farm quick fill stuff. About to go on a rodeo and panicking. What are some teams I could panic on my, my roster for higher GAC week, not counting ships because I'm currently working on those. Okay, uh, so you're looking for new teams to fill in your roster to be able to do good. So let's make sure you're not sleeping on your resistance. Uh, okay, you have the fin. Oh, the Omicron. No. Two today. I literally was talking on Scribe's podcast the other day about this. We were talking about someone asked if there was one Omicron that you could remove in the game, what would it be? And I said the Finn Omicron because I'm so sick of people accidentally applying it. It's so painful to see. <laughs> but you're not sleeping on your Finn Zori team. I, I love it. Good job, dude. Um, going off of that, though. Okay, you have a uh, Sidious Cron. I was going to say, if you don't have a Sidious Cron, get yourself a Sidious Cron. Uh, another one to look at is during this Conquest season, try to panic farm yourself a uh, Finn Cron. Uh, oh, but you you have Zori, and you don't have a Relic Zori. Never mind. Don't ignore the Finn Cron. Um, your Star Killer should be Relic 5. That I would definitely add that to your panic farms. Okay. You don't have a lot hiding in your roster that you like don't have worked on at all. So let's let's check check the obvious one. You have Savage at Relic Three, and then you have Wampa. I'm guessing at Relic Four. Okay, so those are the obvious ones. Uh, you have Vader. Uh, let's check your Imperial Troopers. Just make sure you have that farmed up. Uh, right here, Panic Farm Dark Trooper. Um, get him up to seven stars as fast as you can. Um, very important side farm that needs to be done. That will immediately give you a really good team. Uh, other holes that I'm seeing. What's this right here? Okay, just some weird clones relic. Got it. Yeah, so Dark Trooper, Star Killer, definitely up there. But as for like quick teams, if you okay, so here's the thing: if you want a quick team that you just need another team, 
you can Relic 7 your Kylo Ren and give him a Zeta. Uh, that'll immediately give you a counter to, like, Old Republic. It'll give you a counter to, uh, like, all of those not-so-good teams. Uh, Kylo Ren uh, can solo. So there's a solo for you if you want to get your uh, Kylo Ren up to Relic 7, the regular OG Kylo up to Relic 7, and give him his Zeta. Excellent option for doing a solo. Another one is going to be uh, right here, Gar Saxon Imperial Super Commando. You already have one at seven stars and one at six stars. Get them up to gear 12, and you're going to immediately have a good team to throw against those same types of teams where they don't have the best synergy. If you get them up to Relic 5, they're immediately going to give you a counter to gas. So very, very good. So that, that would probably be my suggestion if I was like just looking at Panic Farms. is going to be Dark Trooper, Gar Saxon Imperial Super Commando, um, Kylo Ren, um, Zeta. <clears throat> And uh, did I already say Star Killer? Dark Trooper Star Killer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Matthew. 100%. Go for it. But hurry, because I don't have much time. <laughs> so do that. Drop your, drop your uh, ally code, and we will get there. there. There is barely. We will see, Caleb. If he super chats, then we'll get to his, adjust his. But if he doesn't super chat, then it's anyone's game. <clears throat> but we, I have like five minutes to go. So uh, that would be my panic farms for you if you're looking for like just a couple characters to go for. Unfortunately, you kind of already have all of the good solo characters by themselves. Another side project that you could start working on to try and get yourself another team is the CLS team that you have partially done. Because you have CLS Chewy. Um, sounds good, Caleb. Uh, you have three pock Han Solo like ready to go and like you know you should finish your Han Solo uh, you have C3PO at five stars so like finishing your CLS team is going to be an excellent team to add to your roster not as a defensive team but as an offensive team so did not mean to click Galactic Republic but that would be my suggestion for your panic firms okay oh <sighs> Where the F is in my chat right now? I haven't started them up yet. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there, there's your panic farm for you. Okay, and also, uh, for those of you who are here, uh, Matthew Davies, welcome to the damn elite and becoming damn cool. Throw your uh, throw your ally code with X's instead of dashes into the chat, uh, and I will get to it right now. Uh, also, give me your current farm, previous farm, and uh, that kind of stuff, just so that way I know what I'm looking for and what you are looking for. Um, also, big announcement, just for fun. Um... So, our, uh, we have our Grand Arena Championship that we are going to be doing every month. And so this month, uh, we have our winners finally announcing. Uh, so, you know, overall, it was actually fairly close when it came to the other three teams. But there's one team that showed absolute damn dominance and absolutely wrecked. Um, so... The people who won was uh, my team, the Shadow Vipers, with 60 wins. Uh, we will be getting ourselves a trophy and everything in the Discord within the next couple of days for that. So congratulations, Shadow Vipers. You guys are awesome. We're going to see if we can uh, get um, Iron Warrior to do so, like a, a full all of our clones together since he did some art for us. Uh, and then number two was Naboobs at 48 wins. So congratulations on number two, Naboobs. Uh, 46 was uh, the Dam Kybers. So congratulations on third place. And last place, unfortunately, was the Lubed Lads. I am sorry, but better luck next time. Coming into this next season, we are going to be doing signups via a like a, a reaction roll. And so anyone in the server, in the Discord server, can join in. We'll randomize teams again, and we will go at it again and see who wins. So 
<laughs> it's got to be rigged. Uh, yes, so we have a Grand Arena tournament uh, right here. So uh, you sign up, basically, and then we, uh, we just go through and we set up all of our teams. And so each person has a team, so normally you'd only be able to see your team chat. Uh, but because I'm, you know, the damn overlord, you, I can see all of them. And so you post your results. You have a team that you can work with to get help on your grand arena. And then whichever team ends up with the most wins at the end of a 3v3 or the end of a 5v5 gets a championship roll for the week off of uh, the uh, grand arena, as well as a permanent digital trophy in our uh in our discord so it's just a fun little thing just to you know keep up the hype of grand arena and give us people to talk to to get help in our uh grand arena so uh, i actually don't read the other people's chats just to avoid that kind of thing um i literally don't read any of the chats except when i grab scores like this so uh we will be redoing uh all of the different uh stuff next uh for this next week uh we have a guy that does it for us okay so matthew davies i'm gonna speed run this up i apologize i don't have a lot of time um but thank you for becoming damn cool uh finishing sith empire team then relic and crex then executor or profundity okay uh i always suggest executor if you have what you have right here if you have your uh um if you have light speed bundles like this, I always suggest Executor. And the reason being is because if you look at your bounty hunters, you already have these characters done. You already already have an IG two thousand. You already have a Razor Crest. So yes, I do definitely think Executor is an ASAP. Throw it into this count like right now. Uh, that should be your next big farm. You're almost there. Keep going for it. Um, I would like to see this as a panic farm. So I want you before Monday. I want you to jump in on Savage and get that to Relic. If that's possible, that's going to be amazing for your account. So that would be my suggestion for your uh, panic farm. I do like seeing the Zori in your account. That's good to see. Uh, I'm guessing you followed my guide for the Ray event. But you are sleeping on it a bit. So here's another panic farm for you. I want you to get the Ray... Uh, or sorry not the right the fin zeta because that's what makes this team pop off so get the fin zeta that makes zori go burr uh we will announce it soon jan uh it's going to be tomorrow we'll open up signups so uh there will be a reaction role you can see it right here currently but there's no one that can access it but the admins uh, it's a private channel but there will be a tournament sign up and so I will announce it tomorrow and everyone can sign up and then we will take those sign ups shuffle up teams and then make the teams and so by Monday everything will be good but yeah so Finn Zeta and then Savage uh, gear 12 to gear 13 would be my panic farms for you Matthew Davis uh, I would also suggest that Executor as your next main project. I think that is an excellent idea. Uh, and then Profundity into JML, I think, is a great next set of farms. Or you can do JML into Profundity. You are closer to JML than you are Profundity. But if you are focused on ships, go for that J uh, Go for that Profundity first. I don't mind that one bit. Uh, one thing I am worried about is just your off-meta fleets. It looks like you're already working on your Echelon. Uh, don't sleep on this fleet after you finish your Executor. Go continue it. It, get yourself a TDC and an Iden Versio, <clears throat> but overall looking good, dude. So that that would be kind of my suggestion for you. We'll take a brief look at your speed overall. Two ninety one for your Gene Ocean Brood Alpha is a lot of speed. Like, yeah, it's good speed, but I'd rather see that speed on someone else. Your mods overall can use some work. Uh, if you need a good mod filter, uh, go over and check my mod farming guide. It'll go over a mod filter for you as well as just how to not take mods too far. Um, but I want to see Resistance Hero Finn up here near the top. I want to see Jedi Knight Revan and Darth Revan up here near the top. Um, Bosk should be up near the top. I want to see First Order Officer, wherever he might be, slightly faster than Hux. It helps with a lot of counters. So I definitely think that should be higher on this list. Uh, Quill should also be higher. Um, but yeah, I definitely think you, you have some work cut out for you for some modding. And I get it. Lightspeed bundles wipe out your mods. You don't have a lot of good mods going. Uh, but go take a look at that video. It should help you get a baseline going. Um, 
Uh, but there's a panic farm for you, and there's a couple next farms for you. Uh, account's looking good. You're taking your time on it. You're getting some good stuff into it, and I like what you're doing. Uh, I got to get going, though. So let's get our uh, outro song going. Uh, get out of here. Okay. Sweet. Awesome. Big thanks to Joe Correa, as always, the damn best. He's been doing a lot for us, and he holds the damn best member. So thank you so much, my friend. Uh, thank you to ADP, our damn sugar daddy, who's at 6419 for the last 30 days. Thank you to all of our damn contributors. You guys make this possible. Thank you to all of our damn elite. You're, you guys coming in monthly is amazing. I love you guys so much. Uh, you guys are awesome. Keep in mind that we do have that subathon or that damathon coming. We're going to be pu pushing it around, see if we can get some traction everywhere. Look forward to it. And, you know, it's going to be a fun time. We're going to get some fun stuff like that Jar Jar costume. And maybe, maybe, if you guys are generous enough, you will be able to control my dating profile for a month. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but I will see you guys 